In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the VBA GX channel on your Wii U menu. This will allow you to go straight to your Game Boy emulator off the Wii U menu instead of going onto the virtual Wii and then the homebrew channel and then the emulator. So it saves a lot of time and it looks really good on the Wii U menu. All you need for this tutorial is WUP Installer GX2. Uh, there's a video down below if you don't have that set up yet. And you need a computer with an extraction software to extract the files we're going to get. But let's get right into it. So if you go to the link in the description for the VBA GX channel, it'll take you to this Google Drive page where in the top right, just click the download icon and it should download in the bottom left. And there we go. Now let's open up our SD card that we use to mod our Wii U. Now on your SD card, you should already have in your Wii U folder, apps folder, you should have WUP Installer GX2. If not, again, link below if you want to uh, get that. And if you don't already have an install folder like I do, just right click, click new folder and just call it install. I've already, I already have one, so it won't let me make another one. But once you have an install folder, just open it up. Now open up the zip file we downloaded, double click the first folder and then drag this VBA GX file folder rather into your install folder on your SD card. Now, if you open it up, it should look like this with all of the .app files, H3, and the titles. That's what we want. Now, back on the zip, you can open up this README text if you'd like. Uh, this Wii U forwarder was created by Adam Catalyst, so you can check him out. Thank you, Adam. This is very, very convenient. But we don't need this, so we're not going to put it on our SD card. So once that file is on your SD card in your install folder, we're ready to head over to the Wii U and install it on your Wii U menu. Once you're over onto your Wii U, just make sure you're running your custom firmware. I'm using Tiramisu. You can start up your WUP installer channel. If you don't have that, that is also linked below. But for anyone who doesn't have the channel, we're going to load up into our homebrew launcher and start up the app from there. In your homebrew launcher, just go find WUP installer GX2 and load it up. Now from here, you can only see on the gamepad, so I'll switch over to my camera and go from there. Once you're on this screen, just click on VBA GX, click install, click on yes, and it's going to ask you where you want to install. I'm just going to do it on, onto my NAND because it's small, uh, but you can also do it on a USB or hard drive if you have that set up, but I'm just going to click on NAND and it should begin the process. Now it'll go through these screens, don't worry, it's, uh, it's just beginning the install. To bring it back here and still not even 10 megabytes so it's pretty small it should install successfully just like that so press ok and then once you press ok it'll also run through these screens but once you get back to the WUP installer screen we can click the home button and I'll meet you back on the Wii U menu and we can check out our new channel and as you can see, we have our Game Boy Advance GX, our Visual Boy Advance GX channel, rather. So let's just uh, test it out and make sure it works. And as you, as you can see, uh, this software supports the Wii U gamepad. Do you want to use it? Just pick whatever you want. I'm going to click yes. And then it should load it up. You know, that picture is very detailed. High definition. It's awesome. And as you can see, it loaded right into our VBA GX emulator. From here, you can play your games. So straight from the Wii U menu, you can play your Game Boy games. That's going to be it for the video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, please leave a like. It really helps me out. If you ran into any issues, uh, just comment below and I'll try to get to you. And my Discord is also linked below if you want to join. Now, if you're curious about what the products I use for my Wii U modding, those are linked below as well. But that's it for the video. Make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out for future tutorials and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.